Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic sexual reproduction in flowering plant and this video is presented to you by www.exam.com. So as in our previous video we have discussed about the male reproductive part and how the uh, male gametes were formed in the flower. So now we are going to discuss the female reproductive part which is gynoecium. And gynoecium consists of pistil. So this is the diagram of a pistil. Pistil has three parts: stigma, style, and ovary. Stigma is the landing platform for pollen. So after the pollination, when the transfer of pollen takes place, the pollen will tra uh, transfer and deposit it over the stigma. Beneath the stigma is elongated cylinder part, uh, part which is called style. This is style. Beneath the style, present the basal bulged part of the pistil, which is called ovary. Ovary consists of ovule, which have female gametophyte. Okay. So, if the single pistil is present in the flower, it is called monocarpellary, and if more than one pistil is present in the flower, it is called multicarpellary. If the more than uh, one pistil is fused together, is called syncarpus. As you can see in this diagram, more than one pistil is fused together. So, this is syncarpus. And if more than one pistil remains free, then it is called apocarpus. As you can see in this diagram, in this picture of flower, uh, more than one pistil are remaining free. So this is called apocarpus. Okay. So now we are going to discuss the diagram of the megasporangium or ovule. Ovule is a future seed. As you have seen in many fruits like mango, the single seed is present. That means that the mango has only single ovule. And you have seen the papaya and watermelon fruit. The number of seeds are present. That means these fruits contain more than one ovule. Ovule were developed in ovary at the early stage of flower development. Now we will discuss the different parts of ovule. The nucellus. Nucellus is the part which have the abundant reserved food material. The center part is called Nucellus. Located in the nucellus is the embryo sac. This is the embryo sac. Embryo sac have different cells that we will discuss later. And uh, the two protective layer covering over the ovule is called integument. These are, this is the two protective layer covering which is called integument. Okay. This one. This is the two protective layer covering. Okay. So, ovule is attached to the placenta by a means of a stall called Funicus. This part is called funicus, to which the ovule is attached to the placenta. The point of attachment, yeah, the point of fusion or the point of attachment of ovule and funicle is called hilum. This part is called hilum, and this is funicle. 
फ्यूनिकल सो द प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर इंटेनग्यूमेंट ग्रोन टूवर्ड्स द अपर साइड एंड इट इज कॉल्ड चलाजा द अपर साइड ऑफ द ओव्यूल इज कॉल्ड चलाजा एंड द लोअर साइड हैविंग अ स्मॉल ओपनिंग इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोपाइल एंड माइक्रोपाइलर एंड ओके ओव्यूल फ्यूजेज विद द फ्यूनिकल फॉर्मिंग अ सॉर्ट ऑफ फ्रिज इज कॉल्ड राफे दिस रिज इज कॉल्ड राफे ओके सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ ओव्यूल इन रिलेशन टू द फ्यूनिकल सिक्स टाइप ऑफ ओव्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑर्थोट्रोपस ऑर्थोट्रोपस इन विच द माइक्रोपाइलर एंड इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द अपर साइड दिस इज द माइक्रोपाइलर एंड प्रेजेंट इन द अपर साइड एंड द चलाजा इज प्रेजेंट एट द लोअर साइड द सेकेंड वन इज एनाट्रोफस विच इज इन्वर्टेड इन विच द चलाजा इज एट द अपर साइड एंड द माइक्रोपाइलर एंड इज एट द लोअर साइड दिस इज द माइक्रोपाइल एंड एंड दिस इज आफ्टर विच द नेक्स्ट डायग्राम इज हेमिट्रोपस Hemitropus is half inverted, so this part is chalaza, and this opening is micropyle end. Okay. And the fourth one is campylotropus, in which the body is curved, but the embryo sac remain the same. Only the body is curved. So this is the micropyle end, and this is chalaza. Amphitrophus, in which the body and the embryo sac both are curved. See in this, the embryo sac is also curved, and the body is also curved. So this is the micropyle end, and this is. This one is chalaz. Circinotropus, in which funicus coiled around the ovule. This funicus is coiled around the ovule. This is the ovule, and this is funicus, which is coiled around the ovule. So this is the micropyle end, and this is chalaz. so 90% of flower has anatrophous ovule which is the most common type of ovule present in all flower now we are going to discuss how the formation of female gametophyte or the embryo sac take place so with the diagram this is the micropylar end so in the micropylar and present a uh, single cell which is called archesporial cell this is archesporial cell which will further divide and form this will divide and form the inner sporogenous cell this is the inner sporogenous cell and the outer parental cell now this sporogenous cell is the diploid megaspore mother cell this have a uh, Two n number of chromosome having the two sets of chromosome. 
this is also called megaspore site now this diploid uh, megaspore mother cell will enlarge and will again divide and forming a linear tetrad after meiosis now this tetrad is haploid that is having a n number of chromosome half the number of chromosome so after which the three of the megaspore cell will degenerate only the one will remain functional megaspore functional megaspore so this single functional megaspore is the first cell of female gametocyte or embryo cell this is developed from the sporogenous cell okay so if the formation of embryo sac take place from the single megaspore then it is termed as monosporic development if the two megaspore is involved then it is called bisporic and if the four megaspores are involved then it is called tetrasporic embryo sac so as in this diagram you can see only the single megaspore is involved in the formation of embryo sac if the two were involved then it is called bisporic and if the four were involved then it is called tetrasporic so panchan and maheshwari uh, in 1950 classified the female gametophyte into monosporic bisporic and tetrasporic embryo sac depending on the number of megaspore nuclei taking part in development okay so now we are going to discuss the process mega gametogenesis the development of female gametophyte from the megaspore is called mega gametogenesis so as we have seen that only one megaspore is functional and other three were degenerated so this one megaspore will divide now mitotically first from the diploid megaspore mother cell it is converted into haploid uh, megaspore cell by the process of meiosis now the mitotic division will take place in which the cell will divide into two so this cell will divide into two these three were degenerated and uh now it will become a two nucleated embryo sac two nucleate embryo sac in which the one nucleus will move towards the micropylon and the other one will move towards the chalaz again the mitotic division will take place and these two will again divide to form a four nucleus this will again divide forming a four nucleus again the division will take place and each of them will further divide forming eight nucleated stage this will further divide forming eight nucleated stage now the three of them will migrate towards the chalaza three of them will remain in uh, micropylon and two of them will be at the center called polar nuclei polar nuclei so this three at the chalazal end these three at the micropylar end micropylar end and these two center nuclei is called polar nuclei plasma membrane and cell wall then develop around all the nuclei excepting the two at the center so the plasma membrane and the cell wall will develop uh, over the 
nuclei except at the center one so the three at the micro uh, micropylar end so the three at the micropylar end forming a egg apparatus this is the micropylar end the egg apparatus having the center one egg cell or oospore the other two were the synergid cell or helper cell the three cell at the chalazal end is called antipodal cell antipodal cells and the two at the center is called polar nuclei so the embryo sac contain the eight nuclei but seven cell so eight nuclei is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight nuclei three at the micropylar three at the chalazal and two at the center nuclei but having seven cell this is considered as one cell so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and seven cell now in this case three cells were present at the micropylar end three cells were present at the chalazal end and one at the center so thank you for watching this video subscribe exam hai on youtube like our videos and comment